Welcome back guys to my channel. I'm very excited. Make sure to like and subscribe if you can please. It would really help my channel. So I'm very excited because this is my first speed build that I'll be sharing with you guys. You guys want to see more of how I do my build. So this is the beautiful build I did and I'm excited to show you how I did it. So the vibe that I was going for was a backyard vibe. I wanted to create a little cute backyard for sitting with fire, like a little fire pit and all that. So um, I started with creating the fence for the area that I wanted to create for the backyard. And I used the trellis because I'm absolutely obsessed with this trellis, guys. I want to use it all the time. And I'm so glad that I had enough materials to be able to... Um, build this fence you will to be able to use it as a fence because you know you need a lot of materials to usually to usually get the trellises and I absolutely also love this chair this hanging chair tree I think that is so cute and I think it would go so perfectly with what I was going for so I wanted a hanging chair for the um for what I was trying to create but we don't have a hanging chair but we have this hanging chair so I was using it as you'll you'll see as I put it all together but I absolutely love this chair and it worked out perfectly so um, right now I'm trying to create like a little like make the make it a little like a garden area kind of to make the tree look a little nice to make it look a little more staged and to make it blend in a little bit more with the vibe that I was going for and so uh, now I'm putting down the little path area, the little gravel area uh, that is going to be the little seating area for the fire pit. And I will show you guys on Instagram, Dreamlight Valley Decor on Instagram, what my inspiration was. So you guys can, I'll save it as a highlight so you guys can see what I was trying to go for uh, because that will really help you get an idea of understand why I built, did the build the way that I did. So um, I'll post the pictures of the two pictures that I have from Pinterest as my inspiration and I will let you, I will, I will have that on there for you guys. And I also really wanted to use these stones because I have no idea what to use them for right now. And I actually thought it would go perfectly with the fire pit situation. So I said, let's give it a try. And I think that they came out cute. I think it's perfect. Um, I wish I had like more individual stones to use, but it worked. And so as you can see, like the little hanging chair is part of the seating area with the uh, with the Adirondack chairs. I don't know how to pronounce them. Um, those popular chairs <laughs> that everybody wants. And so, um, and also I was struggling to find these chairs. I really wanted them for this build specifically. I've been wanting them for a while now and I couldn't figure out how to get them because I'm slow sometimes. And I finally figured it out thanks to Facebook groups and people answering me. <laughs> and I was like, really? That's all I had to do? Anyways, so <laughs> I use those chairs to go with it. And I think that it looks so cute, right? Just like that alone looks really like a cute little seating area. I love the vibe of the waterfall in the backyard. Like that's why I picked that location because I love the waterfall. I love um, that area. And so I think it all started coming together quick, good. And then um, I was trying to figure out what to put to decorate around it. Um, as you guys saw, I went through I went through five million different things to figure out what I wanted to put to decorate around it. I thought that that clay jar was much smaller than what it was, so it didn't work out for what I wanted it for. But I used it anyway. Um, and then. Um, the tree ended up being the better solution in between the chairs and the stone as to in that location. I wanted a plant, but it didn't. I couldn't find a plant that I liked there, so the tree was the best option. So I just started decorating around it, trying to make it look nice, trying to blend it all in together, and um, sometimes it takes me a minute. And then I started putting down these stones to try to create a path, and I said, mm, these do not look good with that with that brick stone like it just doesn't look good together so let me create a different path and so um, I again I will show you guys on Instagram the inspiration for this rug this rug was inspired by a picture that has like so the white is supposed the cream color is supposed to be like rocks like little pebble rocks and then a wood path um, and so again I got the idea from Pinterest 
<clears throat> and then I, I think I've also seen somebody do this on one of their builds, but I can't remember who the creator was. If I can, if, or if I find them, I will tag them. But um, it was a similar build to that. So I also wanted to try to blend it in as well. So I know it looks weird right now, but once you start putting some greenery and stuff around it, I did want to try to put a fence, but then it would block the stones. And I didn't want it to block the stones that I put around the fire pit area. So I ended up changing my mind about the fence and then I, I wanted it to still try to blend it in a little bit. And I was actually pleasantly surprised that the bushes were allowing me to be put on the path as you can see I tried a, a few different things but the only thing that allowed was the bushes which is great that worked out perfectly um, I was actually pleasantly surprised that they allowed it I don't know if it's a glitch um, I hope it's not <laughs> but I thought it was so cool that it allowed me to do the bushes so that it blends in so well and you guys will see like I try so many different things to see what works and what doesn't work and so that's also why my bills take me forever like this one I think took about two hours of course I have kids and that are constantly interrupting me too I'm along with that but um, it took me about two hours to do this build. <laughs> and so as you can see the plants look good right like it starts to kind of like blend it in a little bit and then I also found these lights that are supposed to go on a desk and I ended up using them for the path and it, they worked out perfectly because I wanted something like a light like lights kind of like the sun lights that you stick in your backyard to light up your path like you stick a bunch of them down a path um uh solar lights and so I thought it was it looks similar to that and it blends in because it doesn't show you the bottom of the desk light you only see just the light itself and that's gonna look so beautiful I put like four on each side and it's gonna look really beautiful at night when it lights up so I thought that that went perfectly and that ended up working out really well um, and so and I think this rug is probably like one of my favorite creations because I'm not a pro at the Touch of Magic tool at all. Um, I rarely ever use it, um, especially because of the dream snap situation where it doesn't allow you and I didn't want to have that trouble. But for this spell, I was like, let's play with it. Um, I'm not a pro like Lady Jane on Instagram and YouTube or um, one of my other girls that creates awesome decor, customized. I'm not that person. So but I give it a try and it came out really well. As you can see, it like blends in and it looks really cool. It looks like a really nice path. Um, and then I was thinking of doing the brick path uh, for the backyard section where I'm gonna put like the grill and the table and chairs and all that. But then I was like, no, let's do the rock, the rock looking one, because I think that looks more like um, what somebody would use in their back, like a really, really nice backyard, <laughs> right? So um, I started to do that and then I, I was building it over all the way over to here and then I really thought about it and I said I really don't want to have to build another area I want to be able to do the grill on the right hand side and behind the house and um, the chairs and this and the seating area I didn't want to build a whole nother area on the side there on the left hand side so I ended up deciding let me just go ahead and just take that down because I, I'll do something else anyway. So then I ended up putting up more of a uh, more of the trellis fences and I put those up to create the you know fenced in backyard area and it actually came out really well. It made it look even nicer I feel. It made it look um, even more like a backyard to me. So I just touched up the area, adjusted the houses, adjusted the path. Um, then I take, I took the uh, trellises also from the back and I started putting them around the other end of the house because I didn't really need them in the back because I want the waterfall and the lake to like the river kind of feel like it is part of my backyard because that is a beautiful, beautiful, that would be a beautiful backyard for me. <laughs> goals so um then i started trying to create um 
some greenery around the fence to blend that in a little bit because I don't like open spaces. I don't like blank spaces, I'm sorry. I don't like blank spaces. It makes it look blank without something along the fence there. So I tried to do that, but then I ended up adjusting it and I ended up changing it actually. So, so you'll see that, but for now, um, that's what I did. And then I wanted to create a garden area in the backyard, make it look pretty, um, put some, cause I love the plants and the greenery in this, obviously in this DLC. And so I am obsessed. I use the plants for everything. Like literally in my Forest of Valor, like there's, it's all over the place. And that's, I'm not even done building it. And there's like tons of plants. It probably takes up like a thousand item limit or whatever. I don't know, but <laughs> I use so much of it. Um, so I'm using it here, of course, because they're just so pretty. Too pretty not to use. So I, I just kind of layered it was what I was going for, layering it. Um, and I think it made the backyard look so nice, like so pretty, like a pretty little garden. And so I think that worked out perfectly, kind of blended things in a little bit more. And then I discovered accidentally that as I'm decorating, you know, the like trying to fill in all the open spaces and trying to make it look like it's a more like secluded in the woods kind of area because I don't want the back to, like the backdrop of the picture that I'm going to take of the house to be blank too so I start decorating around it but as I'm doing that I accidentally um delete I think I deleted one of the bushes and realized that the I can use grass instead so you'll see that I'm just trying to decorate around as much as I can add some little touches to it um, I thought I wanted a gazebo which I did but not that gazebo that gazebo just didn't fit with the vibe that I was going for so I put the grilling stuff on there a little table I started decorating around and then like I was saying I realized that I wanted I, that I could put grass instead of having the bushes in in lined up there because I already have so many bushes <laughs> to lining up the path to the the fire pit area and as a you know if I can have something else there that would be amazing so when I was moving some things around, I accidentally, I think, seen that it, when it, the green, that it shows you that you can actually um, put it in between the fence. And even though like the grass is on both sides of the fence, it still allows me to put it there, which was, I thought that was nice. Um, because I usually don't play with the grass because usually the grass doesn't play nice with me guys I don't know about you, but when I try to use the grass it never wants to work for me So I was happy that it finally wanted to work for me. So as you can see here I'm just trying to do little finishing touches. I added a little cooler. I thought that that was cute um, because you know as like a backyard cookout thing and I was gonna use this table and the seating area and then I ended up getting the actual table that I wanted to use so I changed it so as you can see here see I noticed that the grass was like oh the grass fits there um, I was kind of surprised that <laughs> it allowed me to do the, the fence in between the fence too which was pretty cool so I said let me do that instead of having a bunch of um, of the bushes so it ended up working out great. I think it looks really good. I think that it blends in really well. I mean, I know that the grass is a little lighter than the rest, but there's so much greenery and so many variations of color that it blends in well together to me because there's so much color in with all the greenery that I put around it, which is why I love the greenery because it's just, you just keep layering it and keep throwing things together and it just looks good. <laughs> So I kept adding greenery all around and I believe that was like the final touch that I needed um, before I started putting the seating area together and um, I love the casita, casita table I believe that's what it's called casita or um, from Encanto I'm like my mind blank 
um, from Encanto. I love that table. It's my favorite table in one of my builds. And so then as you guys can see, I'm like I'm decorating around in the back because I know that that is going to be in the picture, that area. If I take a picture of my build, I know that that is going to be in the background. So I just need to throw down some greenery, some trees to block to make it blend in a little bit. And I'm almost done i'm just doing like i said the final touches because again when i take a picture and i post this to social media guys i don't want it to look like there's nothing else around it even though there's not um i want to at least try to make it try to make it look like it blends in a little bit <laughs> and so um especially because i'm going to be taking photos at many different angles figure out which picture i like the most and i don't want to decorate the front really because then that's a whole nother project i just want to create the backyard and i will do the front later another day maybe um but the way that it came out i ended up you know doing the little final touch adding a little bit more bushes finishing off the greenery and i am absolutely upset i obsessed i loved it the way it came out um i think it looks so cute i would love this as my backyard like so peaceful i would love to sit and have a cup of tea or have a cup of coffee next to my little waterfall so pretty um and i just think it came out so well so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this build i hope you guys um enjoy the video please let me know if you guys like it then and you guys share that you enjoy it then i'll continue posting more um because this is the only way that i know is if you guys let me know that you enjoy it by commenting liking subscribing um, share it on your social media tag me let me know guys um, thank you so much again I hope you enjoyed this cute little build that I did and I definitely plan on doing more if you guys enjoy this so thank you so much and you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you in the next YouTube video hopefully right bye guys